Hi, I'm Nancy Smith, and I'm from Sunburst Software Solutions, and I'd like to welcome you to the QuickBooks for Contractors channel here on YouTube. Today's YouTube lesson will focus on how to create and restore a QuickBooks portable company file. A QuickBooks portable company file is a smaller, more condensed version of your actual company data file. It can be used to send the file to your CPA when a normal backup file is just too big, or repair database file fragments, which is a little known perk and what we're going to focus on today. Some things to remember when creating a portable company file. First, you'll need to log into QuickBooks as the administrator and switch to single user mode. Once in QuickBooks, pressing the control and the one key at the same time launches the product information window. The F2 key will do the same thing if your function keys are enabled. Once the product information window is displayed, you need to know and remember where your QuickBooks file is, how big it is, the number of database or DB file fragments that there are currently, and most importantly, you need to remember where you're going to save the portable company file. So here we are in QuickBooks. The first thing we're going to check is our file size and how many database file fragments we have. Pressing the Control and the One key displays our product information window. Here you can see in the location box where your QuickBooks company file lives. You can see how big your current file is. This file is roughly 183,764K, which translates into just about 183 megs. This really is a pretty substantial QuickBooks file. And you can see it has a total, trans total transactions of 17,583. What we really want to focus on is the number of DB file fragments or database file fragments. This file only has seven. If you have anything more than 20, your QuickBooks file is really getting to a point where it's unhealthy. Um, it means that it, it's fragmented and there could possibly be data corruption problems. So here we're going to click OK. And next we're going to make our portable company file. From the file menu, we're going to choose Create Copy, choose Portable Company File, hit Next, and this is where we're saving our portable company file. And you may need to grab the little Save In drop-down arrow and figure this location out. My location is on my C drive in the Users folder, in Public, in a folder called Backups, and then a subfolder called QB. This is a Windows 7 machine, by the way. Next, we're going to hit Save, but first I want you to notice that the portable company file has a QBM extension. Just hit Save. If previously someone has made a portable company file, you'll be prompted to replace it. Just say yes, and then you'll want to hit OK at the close and reopen message window. And now QuickBooks is going to do its thing and create your portable company file. How long it takes is going to depend on your file size. And don't be alarmed if you get a not responding message here in the top of the little window like I'm getting. QuickBooks will do its thing. It's just really busy. So hold tight and let's just be patient. When QuickBooks is finished creating your portable company file, you will see this little message and it tells you where it saved it. So remember, it's C colon, users, public, backups, QB, and then our QBM portable company file. At this point, you just want to click OK. Now the next step is restoring or opening our portable company file. And this one's a little more tricky. Now we want to res restore and work with that portable company file that we just created. This step is really kind of tricky, so watch carefully. From the file menu, you'll want to choose open or restore a company. Then we want to choose restore a portable file and hit next. 
Now, QuickBooks is going to remember where we last saved our portable company file. So we're going to click on it and make sure it's that QBM extension and hit open. Then we're going to hit next and then we're going to save it in that original file that was displayed on our product information window. Now mine was public QB master files and here's my QuickBooks file. And I'm going to write right over the top of that QBW file. I know, a little scary, but this works and it's fine, trust me. So hit save. It's going to tell you that the file already exists and ask if you want to replace it. Say yes. And now just sit back and wait. First you have to say, you have to confirm that you want to write over the top of it. So type in yes and hit OK. And then QuickBooks is going to open that portable company file. And again, you may get that non-responding message, but don't worry about it. Um, it will do its little thing, and we just need to sit back and be patient. When the portable company file has been successfully restored, you'll be presented with your normal QuickBooks login window. So go ahead and enter your password as normal and hit OK. You'll then be presented with a window that says that the portable company file has been opened successfully and go ahead and hit OK again. Now we want to see how successful we were in reducing the number of database file fragments in our company file. So we'll press the control and the one key and you can see that we reduced them from seven in the original file to four in this one. Now, like I said, this really is a significant QuickBooks company file size, but it's also a pretty darn healthy one. You may not be so lucky. If you still have more than 20 database file fragments, your QuickBooks file is really getting pretty sick and sometimes creating and then restoring a portable company file two or three times more will reduce the overall number of database file fragments. So you can give that a shot. However, if you cannot get your QuickBooks company file to have less than 20 database file fragments, I really suggest that you seek professional help. Yes, just like we have doctors and we have mechanics that we take our vehicles to, there are actually people who specialize in QuickBooks file repair. And like I said, if you cannot reduce your QuickBooks database file fragments below 20, um, you really need to seek professional help. Two people that I highly recommend, and I don't receive any kickbacks from them, but this is what these folks specialize in. You'll want to contact Shannon Tucker at quickbooksusers.com and this is the website URL or Matt Clark at QB or not QB and again here's his website URL. Thank you for joining us today and this is officially the end of our QuickBooks for Contractors YouTube video on how to create and then restore a QuickBooks portable company file. Check back soon we'll have new videos um, hope you enjoy, and if so, please share. Again, this is Nancy Smith from Sunburst Software Solutions, and thank you.